Good morning vloggers. Just finished uh, shooting my stealth camp and explaining a few things about what a stealth camp is compared to a 24 hour stealth camp. Regular stealth camp, I usually only eat one thing and then I stealth camp overnight, get up in the morning, grab a coffee or a breakfast. Sometimes I eat two things. But when I do the 24 hour stealth camp, like I can't do a 24 hour stealth camp really at, well, I guess I kind of could, at Chuck's. So if I was to do a 24 hour stealth camp at Chuck's, I would have got here at 11, done a lunch and then got, went for a walk or a bike ride or whatever and then did a dinner and then stealth camped till the next day at 11 o'clock and uh, then I would do another lunch and try to eat obviously three different meals but I usually end up shooting about three hours uh, worth of footage three to four hours the last one was four hours uh, and again it was four hours because it was the Dollar Tree and I ate a lot of different things so as many many like reviews in one in one video plus cooking that that made it a little bit longer as well just drinking up a latte that I grabbed from this little bakery pastry place that I made a video. I did a, um, what was called living at the beer store Plaza for 24 hours. No. Yeah. No. It was, yeah. It was, was it called 24 hours? I can't remember. Maybe all day long. So living at the beer store Plaza all day long. So this is the Bradford beer store Plaza and there's lots of places to eat around here. And I think I ate at Pizzaville, the sushi place, the bakery. There was another place here before. It was like a Portuguese place. I can't remember if I got anything else from any of these other spots, but uh, in the morning uh, I grabbed uh, this bakery place and it's called Caldense Bakery. And uh, again, a very strong Portuguese presence uh, in this area. So a lot of Portuguese little bakeries and shops like that. Yeah, I was explaining the difference between a 24 hour and a regular stuff. So last night was just a stealth camp. So I got here late afternoon, did steak dinner or whatever, and then went for a big walk, went over to Canadian Tire. I wanna buy a, like a nice big glass jug, but that's that's more than two liters. Cause I think the jug I have at home, it's plastic, it's old and you know, plastic and, and uh, leaving your water in plastic jugs for a long period of time is not really supposed to be healthy for you. So if I can find a nice large glass rectangular water jug i want to buy it canadian tire had one but it's 1.8 something liters i might buy it just because it's glass and that's the biggest one i've ever seen anyway uh and then did my stealth camp woke up in the morning grabbed my latte and then that's the that's the end of a stealth camp but a 24 hour stealth camp is when i get there and, and eat three or more meals or if i let's say or when I went to Dollar Tree, you know, I cooked, I bought food, cooked it. Somebody, somebody challenged me to do another Walmart, uh, 24 hour stealth camp at Walmart, but I have to cook everything. So everything that I find, uh, in Walmart, it can't be, I guess, ready to eat. It has to be stuff that I have to cook. So ground beef, like make, maybe make my own beef or only, that would be kind of fun. And just other things. I'd probably have to do like a beefaroni thing, then do a chicken dinner and maybe a steak. Yeah. And then just buy a few cookie type items or whatever. And you guys, can, if you want, you can leave comments on this video letting me know what you think would be really good to cook in the van. A lot of people have been asking about the van. And so either I'm not telling people what's going on, which is possibly the, the main reason, uh, or people are missing videos where I tell people stuff and then they miss a video and then they're asking, well, what's going on with Rusty? Like, okay, so here it is. Uh, so Rusty is broken, um, but some days he works. So t last yesterday, started him up, put him in the, into drive, started driving down my street. It went into third gear, gave me all my gear range. So I, I zipped down here to Bradford, shot my stealth camp, and uh, hopefully I'll have all my range of gears on the way home, which I think I will. The other thing too is when the gentleman looked at my transmission, he said the axle is broken. And uh, I don't know how that happened. I guess it just falls apart. But uh, so the axle is broken and the transmission. And so that's it. Rusty is going to be used as long as I uh, have my range of gears for now. So... Everything's running fine, but I'm not, like you guys said, don't put any more money into Rusty. I get it. Uh, so we'll just keep using Rusty 
until I can't use Rusty anymore. And then when I have to go down to the States, I will use Moose. And right now all the videos, uh, especially the Dollar Tree videos are doing really, really well. And if this video does well, and if when I go down to the States, if those videos do extremely well, then I will probably buy either like a Honda Odyssey. I've been thinking about a pickup truck too. So, and I, th I think a few of you guys talked about pickup trucks with me, but anyway, so that that's what's going on with Rusty. Uh, I'm going to keep using them. I'm not going to put any more money into them. I'm just going to keep using them until he won't give me good gears anymore. But yeah, like I said yesterday, got down here no problem and uh, just parked it. I've been in this exact same. I was going to move my car last night, but I'm like, ah, screw it. It was raining and there was, there was a thunderstorm far away. I only saw like one flash of lightning, um, but it was like this like, sheet lightning. And then I started recording to try and find it again or hopefully capture that on video, but no, it didn't want to give me any more action. So it must have been really far away and I caught just that one. And last night I watched Robocop. So one of our amazing uh, followers left a suggestion. And again, uh, I'm not sure if I didn't explain it. No, I'd ex I explained it well enough. I said, if you want to leave a suggestion for a movie, you have to type KBD movie, no spaces, no hashtag, just KBD movie. Doesn't matter about capitals or anything. Cause when I do a search and I do KBD movie, it won't find any of the hashtags. It won't find, it'll find movies, which is kind of good. I noticed that like I typed in KBD movie and it did find one person's comment that actually put an S on the end. So, but if you just put KBD movie, all lowercase, all uppercase, I'll find your suggestion and get your friends to also like your comment because the more people that like your comment and want me to see that movie, chances are I'll pick your, your suggestion. So Jeremiah Thompson, 1657, suggested RoboCop last night. So I watched RoboCop, which I haven't seen. And the version on Netflix had a few extra clips in it. I've seen RoboCop enough to know that there was something different about that movie. And uh, I think it was some of the the gore scenes uh, back in the day when they released it on VHS, they took those scenes out, like just little snippets, just like a shot here and a shot there. And uh, I think there was a shot where he was, his head was back screaming when he blew his hand off. Uh, that I don't think was in the original. I'm pretty sure there, and there was other, just little tiny clips taken out maybe one or two second clips. That's how that's how many times I watched that movie. I knew right away that there was something different about it. But uh, again, very, very good movie. Um, worst effect was the the one at the very end when the when the uh, CEO falls out of the window. They did something weird with his arms. They looked, his forearms looked like three feet long each as he was falling. So I don't know what they did to make him look like that, but they should have reshot that. All the amazing shots they did in that movie, and they they threw it all away with that one stupid shot at the end. Uh, so right now it's like 13 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's 8:16 Wednesday morning. I gotta get home, edit this, and uh, also do a live show tonight. And then I got Carl coming over tomorrow to edit, and then I'm going rock climbing with Paul, and then Friday fishing trip. Crappy fishing we just hope the weather is going to be amazing it'll it'll suck if it's like a a rain out you know sometimes they say it's 40 percent chance rain and it doesn't ever rain on your lake so we'll find out and you guys will find out too because i'm going to be shooting at least one cook uh catch and cook video with the boys uh, and then it's right back into doing stealth camp and 24 hour stealth camp videos for you guys Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a short, quick video of update what's going on. And I appreciate every single guy swinging by this channel and watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that I miss, anything you guys want to know about, uh, like Rusty or the difference between a stealth camp and a 24-hour stealth camp. Uh, but I'm pretty much going to be doing just those probably from here on out. All right. Talk to... Oh, there's a couple other, other couple of sneaky videos I'm going to be putting out. Uh, I should have done them back in January, and you'll find out why. I'm going to give you another cliffhanger, guys. So there's something I need from Ben to do a specific video that I should have shot back in January for a specific reason. But I'm not going to tell you until I do it. All right? Talk to you guys later. Sorry. Bye.